Speaking at the Electrification Project Phase 2 in Vento Kavana Informal Settlement, Minister of Urban and Rural Development, Erastus Utone said, the project is once again testimony that government is hard at work to provide much needed infrastructure to residents, particularly in the informal settlement. Therefore, the commissioning of the project signifies a remarkable change and will make a positive impact on the livelihoods of people to whom government owes ultimate duty. He said the harsh conditions in the informal settlements across Namibia are well known and no person wishes to live under such conditions and Namibians living in shacks are faced with challenges such as lack of potable water, electricity, lack of personal and property security, poor sanitation and in some instances the non-existence of basic amenities. The lives of those living in informal settlements in Namibia are characterized daily by what seems to be persuasive idea that they have been forgotten. The future of these residents and their beloved families is further dealt a terrible blow by a combination of factors, the least of which is lack of land tenure security, exorbitant house price, and the visible absence on the housing market of products designed specifically for the group of people whose income are super low. He added that the provision of basic infrastructure and services remain one of government's top priorities at all levels. Thus, government through the Ministry of Urban and Rural Development provided funding to the city of Ventuk in the amount of 15 million Namibia dollars towards capital project for the 2019-2020 financial year. City of Ventuk Mayor Francina Kahungu, who was speaking at the same occasion, said access to electricity has become a need and not a luxury anymore. Having access to electricity has become indispensable in our daily lives. For this reason, Municipal Council of Venduk is sparing no effort in the quest to make sure that we electrify as many households as possible with the little funds at our disposal. Josephine Simeon, Nampa News.